one time activity he said this is an activity which has to be done regularly like when you review your process when you review your performances at a regular intervals uh, you should review your fmes regularly to see that what extra failures it can have in the future okay because i have done the assessment maybe till now but if i forget the fme document i don't know there might be some failure modes which can happen in the future also so it is a running sort of a document which can be used. now let's talk about why are we using it in a project what is the purpose of doing it in a project or what is the purpose of doing it in a six sigma training why are we doing it can someone think of it i just want to ask from uh, you first and then i'll answer can someone think of it though i've given an explanation but what what is the purpose of doing this in the so uh, they are like in any project so there is a lot of ways of having a failure so there are several failure modes so which failure mode do we need to prioritize for that we measure it on severity on its occurrence and uh, in detectability and then we have these scores we multiply it to get our uh, uh, this thing uh, rpa index yeah rpa index and we will discuss that technical we will discuss that ashwini we will discuss that technical stuff uh, yeah. the upcoming slide because everybody so reduce the failures to interpret yeah. the failures and control yes. the is which failure modes to focus on yeah absolutely yes anybody else wants to give an explanation fma is done uh, when your process flow is your uh, after your process flow you have decided based on your process what are the failure modes we interpret the uh, failure mode and uh, we even uh, prioritize based on the uh, occurrence and uh, cbrt and uh, defect uh, and then we even uh, plan for the control no control is the next phase Only why do we do it in the my question is why do we do it in the project uh, don't give me the technical explanation that will be doing it just from an intent perspective uh, what do you think uh, we are doing it in a in a improved state like i haven't I haven't discussed it yet but just want to hear from you uh, intent so of when we are uh, planning a solution we are focusing on some solution that needs to be implemented we also have to understand uh, in implementing the solution there can be lots of different um, you know uh, drawbacks that might happen so we need to be prepared for those uh, drawbacks or the uh, you know the negative issues that might crop up in between when we are implementing so if you are prepared for it and that kind of a situation arise we will be prepared enough to go ahead and deal with it and go ahead with our uh, you know solution implementation without any uh, delay or any kind of a problem really appreciate it very good explanation uh, that is the intent of fme in the improve phase because when you will deploy certain solutions for the first time okay uh, you don't know what sort of it can have while implementing it. so before even implementing those solutions i will assume i will anticipate that what fit it most can okay so for example if you are developing an application so for example there was a lot of manual work and there wasn't any app earlier where people were doing manual entry so when you develop an app which means that you would have certain steps to develop a app so for each and every step you will probably have the failure modes probably if the application is slow what should i have in control yeah what if the application uh, has too many people in it together what should i do if the application doesn't populate all the results what should i do if it doesn't capture the email address what should i do so all the failure modes while implementing the solutions is what i will be doing the fme for for implementing those solution because i don't want to take any sort of risk i don't want to say that since the solution is now implemented i get a lot of failure and my project timelines get impacted before it so that's the reason i have two months for improve phase to do the fme as well so that's what that is the intent of doing the fme is it clear to all of you although you all were correct summarize it really well but still do you have any questions No. Okay. 
great i think you have understood it really well so let me explain uh, technically uh, what is the fmea i have just uh, disc- explained it uh, in a very layman terminology without sharing the technical stuff that how to do it uh, fmea is has different components uh, which help us to decide that which particular area we will have to be focused on okay and these risk needs to be quantified using which uh, which which is severity occurrence and detection okay severity is that how severe this failure mode is okay how critical it is wherein we give a rating of 1 to 10 okay if i give this failure mode as one as a severe rating which means this is sometimes this is not very severe but i give a rating of 8 to 10 which means if this failure mode happens it's going to impact like anything so higher the severity the critical it is the failure mode is the critical it is okay occurrence so when you anticipate any failure mode for any process let's say for the same example that i have taken so if you want to develop an application and the first step that you have prepared is that application should be able to fetch the customer details using the mobile number details like the customer name address phone number and his address and his location also okay but let's say uh, there is a failure mode that it doesn't accept so i give a severity of 8 or 9 bit because that's very very critical or probably i give a 10 also second is occurrence occurrence says i would also try to anticipate that how many times it would happen on a scale of 1 to 10 how many times when the user will be mentioning his phone number the other details will not be fetched how many times this technical error can happen so that is the occurrence wherein you will again give a rating of 1 to 10 okay higher the occurrence which means this failure mode can happen a number of times if you give a occurrence of one or two which means it can happen in a once in a blue moon if you give it four or five it means that 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 has come so you have to anticipate here okay uh, because there is no error occurred already but we are anticipating if it happens how many times it can happen so it is all assumption that we are playing on the third is detection okay if this failure mode happens for example the same example i'm preparing an application the user is entering his phone number and user the details are supposed to be fetched the, the details were not fetched the severity is 9 occurrence i gave probably 3 that this will not happen every time and detection is how easily i will be able to detect that sort of a failure mode is it very difficult to detect is it very easy to detect so detection is kind of an opposite i use an excel sheet to make you understand so severity uh 1 to 10 higher the bet higher the critical occurrence number of times the failure mode can happen okay 1 to 10 higher the more occurrence the last is detection how many how easily will i be able to detect the failure mode here the rating is opposite if you are able to detect it quite easily okay then you will give a rating of 8 to 9 8 9 or 10 but if you are not able to detect 
failure mode like you you never come to know that this failure mode has happened you did not get any sort of an error then you would give sorry i have done the opposite here sorry vice versa yeah vice versa if you are able to detect you would give a rating of 1 2 or 3 and if you are not able to detect then you would give a higher rating we are we are anticipating risk here maybe 8 to 10 okay any question on severity occurrence and detection i will explain the calculation once again to you but do we know the operational definition of severity occurrence and detection do we understand what are we trying to go for Can yeah repeat severity again uh... yeah severity is how severe this is going to have so example that i've taken that if this failure mode happens how severe it is going to impact my entire solution that i will be implementing on the effect okay yes yes if it's going to have a huge impact then i would give a rating of 9 or 10 if it is not going to have a huge impact then i'll give a rating of 8 to 9 so for example there is a step wherein i have to capture the customer secondary email id secondary email id okay if that point in time the system doesn't auto fetch do you think it will have a huge impact because i already have the primary email id it is not that severe my transaction will still get processed this is just an extra information that i'm taking from the customer to ensure that if it's if the previous email id gets inactive i should have a secondary one wherein i can get the otp or something else okay so in that case this might not be very severe understood i might not give it because it would not have the impact on the end result that not not huge impact so i would probably give a 5 or 2 or 3 as a severe rating okay occurrence how many times it can happen this failure modes and detection how easy i'll be able to detect in severity higher the severity the higher rating i am going to give occurrence higher the occurrence higher rating i'll be giving in detection it is opposite if i'm able to detect the failure mode easily i'll give a lower rating because that in